Can you store gunpowder below deck and not worry about outside influences blowing it up? Well, in this video, we're going to test it out. Hello there fellow sailors, my name is Rick Murray and today we are going to see if cannon fire can detonate gunpowder stored below deck. For this experiment, we're going to put each ship through three different tests. First will be our control. This is where we shoot the ship with no gunpowder on board. The second, we will store gunpowder against the walls of the ship. And the third, we will be storing it in the center of the ship away from all walls. Starting with the sloop, let's first get our control and see what it looks like if we hit an empty hull. So the results are pretty predictable and not really surprising. Moving on to our second test, having the gunpowder right next to the walls of the ship. Let's see if we can detonate it with a cannonball. So that is a detonation. Now let's reset and try the test again, this time with the gunpowder barrel in the center of the ship. So the results are pretty conclusive. To be honest, I was hoping this would work. However, the sloop is the smallest ship, so it doesn't really surprise me. With the sloop done, let's move on to our next ship, the Brigitte. Just like before, I did a control test with no gunpowder loaded on the ship. So once the control was out of the way, I went ahead and placed gunpowder against the wall of the hull to see if we can get a detonation. The results are not surprising one single bit. So let's just reset and place the gunpowder in the center of the ship and see if we can detonate it with a cannonball. So I did manage to get detonation, however my lousy aim didn't give us accurate data. I feel this test isn't really a fair one as I landed a hit on the top deck and not on the side of the hull. So let's reset, this time see if we can detonate it from the side of the hull and not from impacting the deck. So yes, the results for this one is also pretty conclusive. Now it's time for us to move on to our final ship and our last hope, the Galleon. Just like before, I did a control test. However, the difference between this one is that I actually skip putting the gunpowder barrel against the wall since I know it does detonate. So I just started by placing the gunpowder at the center on the first floor from the deck. The results were actually a pleasant surprise. I ended up peppering the ship with multiple rounds of cannonballs against the hull with no detonation. I even tried readjusting the ship's position in hopes to land a shot with no success. Getting desperate, I tried aiming for the deck. Only then did I get a detonation of the gunpowder, which by that point, I couldn't save the ship because it sank. However, the test isn't completely over. There still is a lower floor to test. So I reset, placed gunpowder in the center at the bottom floor and tried again. No detonation. At this point, I was wondering if it's possible to even get detonation from the outside. So I tested it again, this time detonating a second gunpowder barrel from the outside. It was only then did I manage to get the gunpowder barrel inside to explode. So what have we learnt about these tests? For the sloop and the brigate, I would strongly advise not to store gunpowder below deck. If you engage in a ship-to-ship -ship combat, you're setting yourself up to fail. If you want to carry gunpowder on these ships, store it in the crow's nest. However, with the galleon, storing your gunpowder in the lowest floor of the ship in the center is the safest from any cannon fire impacting the hull. I'm willing to bet that volcano rocks and lightning wouldn't be able to detonate the barrels. So I asked this question. Where is the safest place to store gunpowder barrels on a galleon? 
In my previous video, the crow's nest and the front tip of the ship was deemed the safest. However, with the results of this experiment, a new location has opened up. Anyway guys, that was a lot of fun. If you liked this video, why not consider subscribing or checking out my other videos? If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys next time. See you around, sailors.